its inventive step. If you are not able to assess the novelty, how do you want to assess the inventive step? And novelty is very difficult to identify in software and in business method because novelty or previous technologies or inventions are not always codified or might be hidden. So these are the reasons why I think that uh, software and business methods is very dangerous to enter into patenting. Um, the second point for all other technologies, low quality inventive step allows easy imitation. So if you have a low quality system, you reduce the appropriability mechanism and hence the incentives in first hand. And third, because we heard about ex ante disclosure, of course, it's very important for a, an efficient standard setting organization. But when, when you look at standard actors and you look at their patenting behavior before and after the start of the standard uh, negotiation, you see a direct <coughs> and a logical, a natural uh, strategic behavior. So what matters, of course, with ex ante disclosure, it matters not only for standard settings, but for a high quality examination services by the patent office. And this, yes? Yeah, yeah, I wrap up, it's over. Um, and by the way, that was my final say, so thank you very much <laughs> for it, uh, about quality and patent. I'm sorry if I uh, butted in, I should no, no. just kept quiet, <laughs> just ending up there. There's some thought-provoking things there. It's a real wake-up call for Europe, really, I mean, what you're, what you're saying. Yeah. Bruno, unfortunately, is not going to be with us for the Q&A at the end of this panel. He has to rush off. So I'm going to uh, invite the audience to ask him a question, if there, if there are any burning questions that you would like to ask him. I have one, uh, but we have one from the floor. Also, could you introduce yourselves uh, when, when you ask your question. Is there a, someone have the microphone? Pilar, could you? Thanks. And please keep the questions quite cool, uh, short because we are running a little bit behind time. Thanks. Hello. Do you hear me? Uh, Benjamin Hendrion from DFI. Um, basically, I don't think uh, I have to take your one of your slides very seriously, um, notably on the how you what kind of metric you use to measure innovation. And uh, especially in the software field, you know, if you try to measure innovation with a